All right, welcome back. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD, and today we are with Dolores. Dolores, do you want to say hello to everybody? Oh, hello, howdy. Dolores, how do you and I know each other? You are my grandson in law, married to a granddaughter. That's right, so I'm married to your granddaughter who is filming right now. Um, so today we're going to show everybody your prosthetic eye because I think a lot of people don't really understand what it means to have a prosthetic eye. At least a lot of patients I see think that it means that they're getting a glass ball put in there where their eyeball was, which is not true, right? Right. So we'll show everybody yours. Do you want to do you want to tell everybody why you had to get a prosthetic eye? The uh, eye pressure in my eye could not be controlled with medication. So they put an almond valve in the eye, but the eye did not like the almond valve and it developed and formed a crustacean around the almond valve. So then the eyeball had to be removed. So glaucoma, most, it was glau bad glaucoma yes. in that eye. Glaucoma was the cause of the eye pressure. Was the eye becoming painful? Well, with the uh, almond valve and the crustacean, it, I had headaches, intense headaches. Yeah. So and uh, I, I had to have something done. Yes. Normally, we, nor, a lot of people will, if they lose complete vision, blackout vision in an eye, as long as it's not painful or doesn't become cosmetically unpleasing, we'll leave it. Uh, as long as it looks like a normal eye, we'll often leave it. But once it starts to become painful, like you said, then, you know, it's no way to live. So often taking it out is the better, better course of action. Um, and so you can see with you, it looks just like the other eye. Um, it often won't move as much as the other eye. Has that been your experience? Yes. It moves less. Yes. Yeah. So if, if you, sh if you look at the camera and you look off to the right, so if you look at Becca and then you look to the right, your right eye moves, but your, your left eye moves less. Yes. And that's just the, the way that the prosthetics yes. typically work. Um, and then there's a, a couple surgeries that we do to remove eyes. One is the enucleation surgery, which I made a video on, uh, where we remove the eye in whole. Another is the evisceration, where we leave the muscles attached. Sometimes that leaves a little more movement of the eye itself, uh, or of the, uh, the implant and the prosthetic. So let's, let's show everybody what the prosthetic actually looks like, if you don't mind, if you want to take it out. All right, what you have to do is look up, reach underneath, and pop it out. And there she is, and her name is Esther. <laughs> so let's show everybody. I'll put some gloves on so I don't have to, because I don't want to touch your prosthetic here. We'll keep it as clean as possible. So let's show the camera basically what the prosthetic is. Is that in focus? On know. the back side, there are indentions, which this fits to a insert that's in there. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see the, it's concave on the back. It's almost like a triangular large contact lens. So you can see that it's, it's sort of a concave shape on the back. It's triangular. There's a top side to it. Uh, and then it's painted to look like your other eye. Or in this case, I think yours was made with, with a, a, a computer, right? It yes. was printed. Um, so some, some of the ocularists that make these will, will print them uh, in that way or, or even hand paint them. Uh, the one that works in the town where I work hand paints them. Uh, and you can see they paint in everything uh, from the pupil to the iris to the blood vessels to make it look like a real, a real eye. But it's not a ball as you can see. So the ball, the implant that gets placed inside the eye socket deep in the orbit uh, is behind all the tissue, so you can't see that. It stays back there. Uh, and if, Becca, if you want to, to look, if you don't mind, Dolores, we can we can see kind of, if you don't mind me touching here, um, on the inside. So you see the pink tissue there? That's the conjunctiva. Um, and that is basically the, the normal tissue. Everybody has this in their eye, so if you pull your lower eyelid down, you can see that pink tissue. That's what it is, that's what covers up the implant. So the implant is deep, it's a ball typically, and there's different types of balls we talked about in another video. Um, 
So we can use silicone, something called MedPore, which is hydroxyapatite. And so that gets put in the eye socket and then those tissues get closed over it. And the final layer of tissue is the conjunctiva or the pink part that you see. Um, and that, that is uh, what we all have, it just closes over it. And then so the prosthetic, which is this, this uh, eye here is what goes in on top of the conjunctiva and can be popped in and out. And I don't think a lot of people really understand that that's how it works. But um, if you want to show everybody how to put it back in and how you know which is the right orientation of it. Okay, the cone part here at the top goes at the top of the eye. And you pull your eyelid out, look up, and pop it in. Sometimes I have a hard time, especially if people are watching me. <laughs> Did I get it right? Yeah, it looks right. Yeah, All right. looks good. Yay! So you can see it looks it looks just like the other eye. And then, so you have to have it polished, you said, every six months or so? Yes, yes. So you'll go to the oculars and they'll, they'll essentially smooth it out because it can get small little micro abrasions on it that make it rough and it can irritate the, the back side of the eyelid yes. or the conjunctiva. Yes. Um, well, good. Is there any, anything you want to let, let everybody know about prosthetic eyes or living with the prosthetic eye? Is there anything that's particularly difficult about it or? No. Only thing is you can't, you can't see but no. Not too bad overall. Oh. Most people do really well with it and it gets rid of the pain. So once you had the surgery, the pain's gone, right? Yes. So yes. that's, that's yes. the biggest thing with yes. it. Yes. All right. Well, good. And it is, has been a very fun thing for me with my grandchildren. <laughs> Popping it out. Popping it out and letting them. And we have little conversations that sometimes bad things happen, but it's okay. We make the best of it and it's okay. Well, thank you for showing it, buddy. Thank you. I'm honored. All right. Well, good. All right. We'll see you next time.